I'm making an anniversary gift. <laughs> 37 years ago in October, my wife's thinking, you idiot, you got it wrong. 37 years ago in October, my wife and I went on our first date. One year from that first date, we got married. So in October of 82, we got married 36 years. I can't even imagine my life without her. After 36 years, I'm going to get all, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, I love her and I want to do something nice for her. Last year, I took her to Europe. I took her to, we went to England, we went to London and Paris, and she got to go to Windsor Castle and Buckingham Palace. And this year I'm making her a plaque out of melted scrap aluminum. <laughs> She's going to love it. She's going to love it. So let's, uh, I'm not going to show it to you now. I'll show it to you. You'll get you know, glimpses of it during the thing. But let's go ahead and get this thing rammed up and... Uh, Get her pour and see if we can't make something nice. Okay, pretty standard setup here. I'm going to put my uh, my plaque in the in the flask and the uh, drag. Sorry, talk it up, and we're going to end up putting sprue here with a runner across. And I'm going to try. I may gate go ahead and gate into two spots. I don't know. That kind of what I'm thinking at this point. I'll just gate in. Two places. One gate would probably be sufficient, but I'm going to go ahead and do it, and I'll probably vent it up here, this area too. So let's get us some Petra Bond, some of the new good stuff. So much for the good stuff. Now the burnt stuff. Okay, fill this thing in. Turn this around so I can see it. All right, I'll put my basin over here. Let's uh, open this thing up and we'll cut our runners and gates. Nothing's going into the coat. It's going to be a simple one for the coat. All I got to do is blow it out.
Of course, it wouldn't come out, it would fall out the first three times. Now I can't lift it out of there. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, we got a vent coming over here. The vent coming over here. A gate coming in there. coming in there. Uh, ended up losing my edge. won't be terrible to clean up. I just hate it when that happens now. I just wish I could get a nice clean edge every single time. Let's blow these vents out. Blow that sprue out of there. in and open that yeah, looks really good now all we got to do is pour alrighty here we go Metal on both ends. All righty. Let's see what we got. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna. Uh... Yeah. I'd be happy with that bad boy. Next thing I do is I gotta get a kind of wire my wire brush a little bit, get the uh, oil stains off, paint it, sand it, give it to her. You know, it wouldn't be a pour for me if I didn't show you the mechanism. <laughs> probably really that, that's probably still warm. So. Pour basin, ridge, pour basin, fill up, run over the ridge, down the tapered sprue. Um, sprue is in pretty good shape. I just have a single runner slash gate thing into this guy. Um, so nothing, nothing exciting, just a couple of small vents just to make sure everything flowed to all the corners like it was supposed to. And uh, that's it. Get it cleaned up. I have multiple people ask me how I finish some of these things. All I did was I took my belt sander and knocked off the um, uh, the gate and the vents, and then uh, just did a quick just knock off some of the burrs that were there. And then I took a wire brush and I just used it to lightly take off the oil that was on the surface here. And I'm going to spray the whole thing here with paint. At the edges and everything, and the, and the whole surface. And then when that's all done, I just basically will take a light sand right over the top of the the raised portions, knock the paint off, and we'll have a we'll have a nice finished product. So now, as long as she doesn't come walking over here, <laughs> I'm in good shape. <laughs> all right, so the paint is dry. Um, kind of, I wish it was better, but it's what it is. I don't have time to make it better. Um, so now I'm just going to take this. Is, I'm going to start with 120. Just very quickly go over the outside edge uh, and knock off the uh, the paint, and then I'll go down to probably 220 and 400 just to to polish it up or make it a nice matte finish.
There you go. First, that's 100, 100 grit or 120 grit. Really pops off there. Looks, I'm pretty happy. I think she's going to be really happy. Okay, so now the hard work's been done. I'm just going to go ahead and do a, uh, this is 220 and then I'll go to 400 and we'll call it good. But all the paint's off, so now it's just a matter of kind of smoothing it. Really quick. And the last one I'll do will be 400 and uh, it'll be good. Yay. Alrighty, there it is. Pretty cool. It's going to go, I'm going to put this uh, outside her offer. She's got a tack room in the barn for all of her, all of her horse stuff. I'm going to put this right up there next to her, the door so you know, so she knows where she is. <laughs> Anniversary present for my wife. Love her with all my life. And I uh, can't even imagine what it would be like without her. So I hope she's happy with it. She's happy with me. The rest of you guys, have a great day.